So let's do these one at a time. So one question I'll ask you is, you know, we should hopefully be able to identify the domain here. We know that the domain is going to be all real numbers except for negative 1, because that makes that 0, and 3, because that makes that 0. Right? You guys kind of see how like inspection, we can kind of do this a little bit quicker. But anyways, that's not the point here. Well, my point is that there is going to, since the domain is undefined at negative 1 and 3, because that's what makes the denominator equal to 0, those are a discontinuity. Yes? And we've talked about three type, two types of discontinuities and three kind of labels for them. Um, it's going to be removable, non-removable, and we could be a vertical asymptote, a hole, or a jump. So we are not going to refer to jumps. Right now, we're just going to talk about holes and asymptotes. So how do we know, then, if our discontinuity at negative 1, is that a hole or is that a jump? Our discontinuity at negative 3, so we could say, sorry, we could. Yes, those are discontinuities because those are the numbers not in the domain. Yes? All right. So what are they then? What are they? How do we know? So the basic rule, guys, is if they divide out, don't you guys agree x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is 1? So it can be simplified. If, guys, blah, 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 blah. if they can be divided out, this is what we call a whole. Okay? Which obviously we know is removable. On the simplified version of this graph, we still have x over x plus 1. This never got removed. It's non-removable. So that is a vertical asymptote, which is non-removable. OK? Real quick. I'll, I'll go through this next one real quick. And you guys will have time.